Hey, Aaron, labor is hitting the 11th, maybe not what you typically think of when you think of when you hear a walk off. But off the bat, did you think that had a chance of scoring a run there? <laughs> yeah, especially with the five man infield, you know, you don't usually expect to see an infield single like that, you know, to win a ball game. Um, but, <laughs> you know, Glaber been hitting the ball. He'll hit it right at somebody 110 miles an hour. And it's an out. And then sure enough, he had two hits today that were, you know, maybe 50, 60 miles per hour off the bat, if that, you know, so it's just a crazy game we play. But. You know, happy to come away with the win. And you know, right when I saw Glaber coming up with, you know, bases loaded, no outs, I knew he was going to get it done. This one really was a, a back and forth battle. What does it say about this team's resilience? We don't quit. You know, even, you know, especially with, with Scherzer on the mound, you know, he kind of had our number all, all game except for Higgy. And, um, yeah, we just just kept battling. You know, any, any close games like that, you know, especially when they got, you know, one of the best pitchers in the game, you know, if we can keep, you know, wearing it down, you know, and get to that bullpen, you know, I like our chances against anybody. Um, so we were able to do that today is, you know, continue to grind the guy out and got to the bullpen and, you know, we're able to make some make some magic happen. Was that an impressive at bat for Mike Ford in the 10th inning to you? Yeah, that was that bet of the game. I feel like, you know, besides Glaber hit to win it, um, you know, especially a guy he's another guy that's been hitting the ball, you know, hard right at guys, you know, not really getting rewarded. And for him to come up, you know, I think he might have been 0 for 2, 0 for 3 on the day, and then come up with a nice hard, you know, base hit to left field, opposite field like that is just shows you what type of hitter, um, what type of player Mike Ford is. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, what happened his past couple at bats or past couple games. You know, he locks it in for every single at bat. You know, he wants to go out there and win, and he locked it in for us and got the job done. We'll go next to Lindsay Adler. Aaron, you talked about. You know, taking patient at bats against Max Scherzer. How do you game plan in general for a guy like that? You know, Max, he's a guy that's going to come after you. You know, he's a guy that's going to try to come after you early and get that first pitch strike. Um, and then from there, you know, he's you know he's got some wipeout stuff. You know, he really hit us a lot with those sliders off the plate. You know, they come in looking like a fastball right on the corner and then just, you know, kind of fall right off. Um, you know, so he had our numbers with that. You know, we weren't able to really – uh, lay off that as well as we wanted to, you know, so that's why he kind of racked up the strikeout numbers. But, you know, it's, you know, it's not over till it's over. So we were able to get to that bullpen and, you know, eventually get the win. Even though he's obviously a tough pitcher to face, is there, is it more enjoyable in a sense for you to face a guy like Max Scherzer, even if the outcome is bad, or does it ultimately just come down to you just want to get a hit? Uh, yeah, you always look facing the best in the game, you know, especially a guy like Max, who's done it for so many years with, you know, a couple teams now, then um, he, he's coming after you. You can see it on the mound. You know, he prepares uh, from all the guys I've talked to. He puts his work in and he shows it on the mound, you know, with this stuff. Um, so it's, you like facing the best. You like to see, you know, how you stack up against the best in the game. We'll go back to Meredith. Aaron, I know you had the single in the ninth and the walk there in the 11th, but overall the last couple of days, I imagine you're probably not getting the results that you would like to get in the batter's box. Aaron Boone continually says he still thinks you're having good at bats and you're close. How would you assess yourself at the plate right now? Oh, I've been, <laughs> I've been terrible at the plate. You know, uh, just being a little over aggressive, you know, especially with Houston coming in um and then facing the nationals you know really trying to do just kind of do too much at the plate you know really not you know the mistakes i'm getting uh not really putting them in play either fouling them off or missing them and then you know just expanding out of the zone you know especially in that houston series you know didn't get too many pitches to drive and you know i got off my plan and tried to make make things happen when they weren't there instead of just taking my walks so uh yeah there's i had quite a lot of opportunities you know to get to drive some guys in or take my walk and and just haven't done it. So it's been terrible, but, you know, continue to make adjustments. You know, I'm continuing to put some work in the cage, talk with Marcus every day, um, watching video. So it'll, it'll turn around. I think, you know, usually that's how you start a hitting streak is, you know, with a little blooper, or a little dinker like that. So hopefully we're on the right track.